So greetings, everybody. How y'all doing out there today? It is your favorite dark-skinned chick in the whole wide world, Rashida Strober, a.k.a. the world's first dark skin activist, Rashida Strober, a.k.a. the woman who put dark skin on the map, Rashida Strober, your favorite dark skin chick in the whole wide world. And I'm coming at y'all because actually I'm coming at y'all to expose darkism, the darkism I've been telling y'all about for the longest in the form of one of the YouTube uh, viewers that comes onto my page. And basically he's bragging about the fact that he has a light skinned wife. He's also bragging about the fact that she's more edu educated because that's right. I'm dumb. I'm a dumb, dark skinned woman. So she's more educated than me. So he's bragging about the fact that she's more educated than me. And she's also light skinned. See, I've been telling y'all about this for so long. The darkism that exists in terms of the privilege that non dark skinned people receive uh, in terms of the women who have light skin privilege when it comes to dating and marriage. And also in this case, as this hater pointed out, education. So I ain't going to even say your name. I know you're going to watch this video. So this is for you. Let me, let me read to y'all what he said. So y'all, y'all will get the context. He comes onto my videos and he's a hater. Cause I made a video about me being in Fort Worth, Texas, letting everybody know he comes on there and says, Oh, only two people um, came to your play. And he's taking all these shots at me, jealous, hating, don't want me to speak on my dark skin oppression. And now I know why. So let me just read to y'all what he says. Self-esteem, self-esteem. Why do you need validation from light-skinned or white people? There's no logic within the confines of your rant. Light-skinned women are beautiful and pleasant. And you can be dark and pleasant. 99, this is what, now this is the shot he takes. He says 99.5% of dark-skinned women are loud, belligerent. And here's the kicker. Violent. Oh. He says we're violent. Oh, I'm so violent. Oh, I, I go around beating up people. Oh, my God. Ever thought if you change your funky attitude, maybe people could deal with you? Oh, and this is the shot he takes. Oh, and by the way, my wife is light skinned and have, not has, and have a PhD in edu no, education and is now teaching at one of the finest universities in the United States. continue right along. He says, you are bragging about your masters. I had a master at 24. What took you so long? Get over it. Here's his other shot he takes at me. Get over it, midnight. And he puts midnight in caps. Here's another um, response that he made to me. Rashida Strober, and I rest my case. Your reply is filled with profanity, emotion, overall irrational banter. And you wonder why most people have a problem with the testosterone filled dark skinned monsters. Mm -hmm. I'll let y'all go onto my YouTube and read the rest of the comment if you care to. So basically he's calling me all the stereotypes, the darkism. This is what I'll be talking to y'all about. Y'all think I'm crazy? It's right there on my YouTube. I just wanted to point this out because he's been taking this person. I ain't going to even say your name. Y'all can go on there. Y'all can see. He's been taking shots at me. Because he's mad because I'm speaking out on my dark skin oppression. So not only does he prove my point in terms of the darkism, he also proves my point. And he also proves what the colorism scholar, scholarly theorists have been pointing out for the longest, that light-skinned women enjoy privilege. And he proved that point because, number one, he talked about his light-skinned wife. He's married to a light-skinned woman. He's throwing that in my face, throwing that in my face. Throwing that in my face. Go right ahead. Oh, throw it in my face. See how dark I am? You think I give a flying... I'm, I'm trying not to cuss in this video. I'm trying. I don't think I said a cuss right yet. He's also throwing in my face that his wife has a PhD in education. Oh, I can't say education. Education because I'm too dark and dumb. Darkism? He's, he's proving everything that I've been saying. So for that, I'd like to say thank you. You know, I pulled up, I have some of the articles from the um, the scholarly research. And folks, I've been telling y'all this information is online. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to go online and get the information. It's right there. This is just one study from the Journal of Economic Behavior and Organization. It's called Shedding Light on Marriage, the Influence of Skin Shade on Marriage for Black Females by Derek Hamilton, 
um, Arthur Goldstein and William Darity. Again, this person that wrote this comment to me bragging about his light skinned wife. Well, I'm not surprised. The studies prove that light skinned women, they have privilege when it comes to marriage. And I'm just going to read just a little bit of the stuff that I highlighted. You guys can go and look this article up. Spousal and household characteristics of married black women. According to the search theoretic model of marriage described above, and he's talking about the study that's here. You guys can read this when you get, get a moment. Light-skinned black women, i.e. relatively high-status women, are expected to hold a greater reservation towards marriage as exemplified by their higher status than their darker-skinned counterparts. So I'm not surprised at their darkism and the light skin privilege because the studies clearly prove it. And you can read this. Y'all can read the whole thing. Continue right along. In other words, light-skinned black females should have spouses and households with better characteristics in comparison to lower status, darker skinned black females. Continue right along. I highlighted some other um, portions of this that I wanted to just read y'all. And I've read the whole study. You can read it too. Um, this portion is entitled A Model of the Marriage Market. Figure one depicts the demand and supply of marriage with the quantity of marriages measured on the horizontal axis and the skin shade, which increases with lighter skin hue measured on the vertical axis, the quantity supplied of marriage offers, offers from men is expected to rise as the skin shade of females in the market lightens. Folks, this is a peer review and, and he talked about me bragging about having a master's degree. Yes, I have a master's degree. Um, I do. So when I do my research, and I encourage you, if you do your research, you need to get your research from peer-reviewed um, journals, scholarly journals, such as the Journal of Economic Behavior and Organization. Because these people that are doing these research, the, the research, these people are PhDs um, in their areas. Most of them, I would argue that most of them are PhDs or they at least have a master's degree. So they're dealing with... Uh, they have to write a certain amount on their topic, some of them, in order to be tenured or to get tenured. Um, folks, I taught at, for this is for the, the asshole, and I, I, I'm sorry. I'm trying not to curse, but he just pissed me off. I'm really calm in this video. I'm calmer than usual because he pissed me off because he's taking shots at me because he wants me to stay dark-skinned and oppressed. You know, you want me to be in that position. So you're taking shots. You're saying that your wife is light-skinned. You're saying that she got more education than me. She got more education. She got a PhD in education. And I'm saying to myself, it's all the result, result of privilege, of darkism, of what I speak about. You know, and it just pissed me off that you coming for me like this, but I'm addressing you head on today. So, you know, take a look at this study. Here's another study here. This one is from the American Sociological Association. It's entitled Skin Color and the Perception of Attractiveness Among African Americans by Mark E. Hill. One of the things that I highlighted, um, basically in his finding, he's basically saying that African Americans find non-dark skinned women more attractive. I mean, folks, the studies are right here. Dr. Margaret Hunter, she's another one. She talked about um, she, she wrote extensively about how skin tone affects privilege in terms of the marriage market, in terms of education. She showed how light skinned women, non-dark skinned women, she even talked about uh, the Mexicans, how they get the privilege, how they get the privilege in the areas of education, how they get the privilege in the areas of marriage, how they get, how they use their, what she says, their skin tone as social capital. This is Dr. Margaret Hunter. And for you plagiarists out there that's copying me, this is how you do it. You see how I'm coming on here? I'm not coming, you know, stealing other people's work. I'm not coming copying other people. When I talk about someone else's ideas or concepts, I say their name. So you should take a note from me. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop right here. For those of you that's copying Rashida Strober, that's what you're doing. 
the world's first dark skin activist, the inventor of dark skin activism, the woman who put dark skin activism on the map, the woman who made it popular to speak on dark skin issues. If you're gonna be inspired by me, you see what I just did? You need to give credit. You need to say my name. But you, you know, you 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 talk about the issue, you you copy me, and you don't even have the decency to say my name and give credit to where credit is due. I don't respect you for that, and I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And I'm, I'm letting you, I'm, I'm every chance I get, I'm gonna let you know. And you know who you are. You're watching this video, you know who you are. I ain't gotta say no names because you already know who you are. The plagiarists out there, you already know who y'all are. You know? So yeah, I just wanted to address that because I found that it was so, the irony in what he was saying in terms of proving the points that I've been making since 1998, being the world's first dark skin activist, speaking out on darkism. So you come and you take shots at me. You call me manly. You know, that's what you were doing, basically. You said I had testosterone. You know, you said I was violent. There's another another study out there that shows that dark skinned women get longer prison sentences. And for the plagiarists, take note. Because I'm going to give you the source. It's a Villanova study. It's how you do it. You cite the people that came before you. You don't plagiarize and copycats. So I just wanted to get that off my chest. I know you're watching this video and I want to let you know that um, I don't, I could give a less than a, you know what? If you're married to a light skinned black woman, I don't care about that. I could give a less than a, you know what? If your light skinned black wife has five PhDs, boo boo. Okay. That doesn't bother me or affect me no, any which way, because I'm going to continue to do what I do as the world's first dark skin activist. I'm going to continue to do what I do as the inventor of dark skin activism. I'm going to continue to do what I do as your favorites, because apparently I must be your favorite dark skin chick because you mad. You mad enough to come on and make these kind of uh, comments on my YouTube. So you mad. You mad. That I'm speaking on my oppression as a dark skinned woman and I'm doing it the Rashida way, the world's first dark skin activist way, the inventor of dark skin activism way. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to get this book, Darkism 25 Ways That Dark Skinned People Are Discriminated Against. And I wanna thank everybody that has bought my book. I wanna thank everybody that ha is coming to the play, that has donated to the people. I just got like multiple donations. I wanna say thank you. I hope y'all watch this video. I want to say thank you so much to all of you that have donated recently. I appreciate that because it's going towards the production. I'm going to be in Fort Worth, Texas on November 12th. Okay. The information is at my website, uh, darkskinactivist.com, books about dark skin actors. Uh, I'm sorry, books about dark skin.com, Rashida Strober.com, the dark skin activist.com. Y'all go to any of those websites and you will find out information about the play November 12th. Like I said, two shows, there's going to be a 1 PM and a 6 PM. Yep. I'm going to be doing two shows. I cannot wait, man. The, the excitement I have, it's hard for me to contain because I'm, I'm really very excited about it. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. I love you guys. And I'm actually giving away one of my books for free. I've been giving it away ever since I wrote it. It's called how to be the hottest dark skin chick on the planet. If you want that book, all you got to do is email me at darkskinisbeautifulcampaign at gmail.com, darkskinisbeautifulcampaign at gmail.com, and I will send you a free e-copy of that book, okay? So email me today, and I'm going to get that book over to you. Thank you guys for watching this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your support. And um, yeah, and if you, oh, that's another thing. If you want me to come to your city, people always ask me, I want you to come to my city, find a venue. Find a venue, contact me at darkskinisbeautifulcampaign at gmail.com and we'll set it up okay i gotta get out of here and um i love y'all i really do love y'all even the haters i love my haters too for hating on me thank you rashida strober the world's first dark skin activist the woman who put dark skin active activism on the map is signing out peace